In this video, you'll learn more about Collins Products True Wood Siding and Trim Warranty Protection, Storage and Handling, Basic Structure, Various Installation Methods, Painting, Care and Maintenance. Attractive, economical, durable. True wood siding and trim is all this and more. It's a premium quality engineered wood product that is designed to be one of the best solid wood siding and trim alternatives available today. All true wood products contain recycled material content. This represents maximum fiber utilization. Our siding is backed by our 30 year warranty. Because it is a transferable warranty, homeowners get a resale advantage since the balance of the warranty may be transferred to the next owner. To get the best possible performance from your siding and trim and to be eligible for warranty protection, read and follow our installation instructions which come with your true wood siding. If you need additional help, Collins Products field representatives are available with technical support and answers to your needs and questions. Take a few minutes and watch this installation video. You'll learn the main ways of correctly handling and installing true wood siding and trim. You'll find it goes up easily and does not require special cutting tools like some products. As always, use the appropriate safety equipment when cutting and installing the siding and trim. True wood siding and trim are engineered wood products which are designed and manufactured to give a homeowner years of outstanding product performance. But if it has been mishandled prior to installation, it could void the warranties or worse, result in a shorter product life. Here are some important points to remember about handling and storing the siding and trim. True wood products are shipped in tough, protective packaging. Upon delivery, the condition of the siding and trim becomes your responsibility. So when loading or unloading, each piece should be handled with care. In storage, it must be stacked flat, well supported by stringers so that it doesn't touch the ground. And keep the factory wrap intact to protect it until it is applied. Never apply true wood siding or trim if they have become wet. This can cause performance problems such as shrinkage later on. Siding and trim that has become wet should be allowed to dry before applying. True wood siding must be applied to buildings which meet local building requirements and HUD minimum property standards. Standard framing for true wood siding products is 16 inch on center. If 24 inch on center framing is used, intermittent 12 inch on center nailing is required. Where siding and trim meets the roof, it must be spaced a minimum of 2 inches from the plane of the roof and properly flashed. There must be an allowance of at least 6 inches between the bottom of the siding and trim and the ground. True wood siding must be protected from moisture generated from inside the structure. A continuous vapor barrier must be installed on the interior side of all walls. Acceptable materials include 6 mil polyethylene to achieve one perm or less vapor barrier, craft or foil backed insulation to achieve one perm or less vapor barrier with tabs stapled to studs or a vapor barrier paint applied over interior gypsum board to achieve one perm or less vapor barrier. In crawl spaces underneath the building, a vapor barrier ground cover must be installed.
Attics and crawl spaces must be ventilated for good air circulation. Finally, the exterior design must not allow for accumulation of water against the siding. Use of dry framing covered by sheathing under true wood siding results in the best performance and appearance. We recommend wood-based sheathing for all of our lap products. Building paper is recommended under lap siding to prevent air and water infiltration. Consult your local building codes for your exact requirements. Refer to the installation instructions for detailed information on the application of your specific siding style. True wood siding must be fastened with corrosion-resistant box head type nails. Do not use staples. The nails must be long enough to penetrate framing studs at least one and a half inches. When correctly driven, the nail head should just touch the siding and trim surface. It's important to not overdrive or countersink nails. Position panels squarely over framing so that vertical joints will be centered over framing studs. Never force panels into place. At horizontal panel joints, we recommend you use Z flashing. All vertical lap joints must fall on framing and be nailed per our specifications. Nail panels 1 half inch to 5 8 inch in from the overlap edge to secure joint to stud. Follow the nailing schedule in your installation instructions for proper nail size and maximum allowable spacing between nails. When applying self-aligning lap siding, nail a starter strip at the sill plate level and install the first course being sure to overlap the starter strip. Place the self-aligning lap edge on top of each additional course, making sure that it rests flat on the lower piece. Be sure to nail 5 eighths of an inch to 3 fourths of an inch up from the drip edge and penetrate both pieces of siding and trim. Periodic level checks are necessary to assure that lap siding and trim remains level. Use corrosion-resistant 8-penny box head nails 16 inches on center. Butt joints are to be located only at studs. Lap siding must be nailed both top and bottom on each side of the joint. Metal joint covers are required to minimize maintenance. When abutting siding and trim to window and door trim, as well as inside and outside corner trim, also space a minimum 3 16 inch and seal. Start application of Sherlock lap siding by ripping off the top edge to provide an interlock starter strip. Place one nail per lap piece on all studs. Place each nail on the scored nailing guideline to ensure proper concealment on succeeding courses. Concealed nails need to be flushed to ensure proper interlock fit. Concealed nails need to be flushed to ensure proper interlock fit. Face nail through both courses at all butt joints. Vertical butt joints are to be located only at studs. Stacking the butt joints and covering the joints with a piece of trim is highly recommended. This application reduces homeowner maintenance over the life of the siding. Nail on both sides of the joint at the scribe line. If metal studs are used, appropriate screws are recommended. Before applying premium lap siding products, rip the bottom 4, 5, or 8 inch lap from the piece, eliminating the machine edge on the bottom. Remember to prime and paint generously on this edge upon completion of application. It is required that three nails per lap on all studs be used. Make sure the drip edge nail penetrates both courses. Do not nail in the groove. Nail successive laps 5 eighths of an inch to 3 fourths of an inch from the drip edge and in the center of the lap. 
nail both sides of all joints. Stacking the butt joints and covering the joints with a piece of trim is, once again, highly recommended. The advantage of this method results in the complete elimination of unsightly joints and the need for metal joint covers and reduces homeowner's maintenance over the life of the siding. There are seven different patterns available in Designer Shake. The indentations of each pattern determine what the exposure should be with a minimum of one inch overlap from the indentations. All the patterns of Designer Shake are nine and a half inches wide and the exposures vary from seven and a half inches for fish scale to four and a half inches for diamond pattern. Refer to your installation instructions for details on each pattern. When applying True Wood or other siding products, we recommend True Wood Trim for all your trim installations. Also manufactured by Collins Products, True Wood Trim is available in both 4 quarter and 5 quarter nominal thicknesses in uniform 16 foot lengths and all of the popular trim widths. With a wood grain texture to match True Wood's old mill pattern on one side and a smooth face on the other, True Wood Reversible Trim is an excellent choice to add flexibility and quality to your building needs. It is easy to apply with normal wood framing tools and waste is minimized as we have eliminated the splitting, checking, cupping, and natural defects found in solid wood trim products. True Wood Trim is backed by a 30-year transferable warranty. See the installation instructions for more information. After it's applied, true wood siding and trim must be properly sealed and painted. Remember, the proper allowance is a minimum 3 16 inch gap or spacing at all abutments. Then fill those areas with high quality sealing material. Following the paint manufacturer's instructions, apply a minimum of two coats of paint over the dry siding and trim surface. Apply generous amounts of paint on the bottom edges of all siding and trim. Damaged areas must be repaired and touched up with primer before paint is applied. High quality 100% acrylic latex paints are recommended. To maintain the appearance and performance of your siding and trim, periodic maintenance is required. Repair any damage to the siding and trim immediately. Periodically reseal around doors, windows, and trim material. Wash siding and trim as needed with a mild cleaner. Repaint as necessary per paint manufacturer's recommendations and local conditions. See our care and maintenance page in the installation instructions. Let's review. Handling and storage. Keep siding and trim dry by keeping it covered until it's applied. Keep stacks off the ground by elevating them with stringers. Basic structure. Standard framing for true wood siding products is 16 inch on center. If 24 inch on center framing is used, intermittent 12 inch on center nailing is required. Allow at least 6 inches between the bottom of the siding and the soil. Siding should not be in direct contact with concrete or soil. Where siding and trim meets roof, it must be spaced a minimum of 2 inches from the plane of the roof and properly flashed. Design of structure should be such that water does not accumulate against siding and trim or within the wall cavity. Vapor Barriers a vapor barrier rated one perm or less applied across interior walls is required with true wood siding. A vapor barrier ground cover is required in crawl spaces. Ventilation. Crawl spaces, attics, and living spaces must be vented to allow proper circulation. Nailing. Use corrosion resistant box head type nails. Do not staple. Nails must penetrate the framing at least one and a half inches. Don't overdrive nails. Sealing. If overdriven nails occur, seal before painting. Seal around window and door frames thoroughly. 
Seal all horizontal trim material. Use high quality exterior sealing material. Painting. Follow recommendations of paint manufacturer for their paint. Use two coats of high quality 100% acrylic latex paint. Apply generous amounts of paint on bottom edges of all siding and trim. Care and maintenance. Reseal around doors, windows, and trim material periodically. Wash siding and trim as needed with a mild cleaner. Repaint per paint manufacturer's recommendations and local conditions. With proper installation and care, True Wood will retain its original beauty for many years. By closely following these installation instructions and consulting with our field representatives when questions arise, you'll get the best possible performance from our siding and trim. The True Wood Collection offers a wide variety of styles and patterns backed by our industry-leading warranties, prompt service, and the highest quality materials. The True Wood Collection is the market leader in the West. True Wood, 1-800-417-3674.